What's happening, my nigga? Uh. Okay, okay. Hit me, I'm by my comma. I'm by my comma. Young nigga, run up, run all the summer. Uh, Cast on my stomach like. I'm right, gonna play a couple songs for you guys. Just to break the ice. Thank, yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you. Which one you gonna go with? <laughs> with yeah. Don't do that to me. <laughs> she going with yeah, cause that's what she wanted. <laughs> this is a uh, faster right here. This is the single that. Right here featuring Bank Road Fresh, DJ Spins produced it. Yes, sir. And this is real. called uh, And Song. <laughs> We don't know if we're going to make it a uh, mixtape or an EP. Um, we're leaning like towards this name called uh, the, three two, the Three Live Crew. Yeah. We're basically just pushing it a little faster right now. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, um, like in the next week and a half, we're going to announce the official date of the project. I mean, it's the same formula. We just I feel gotta, like this is going to be different. Yeah, just by the name. The three live crews, like, we never, like, put up a body of work together where it was just only about one thing. On the okay. edge. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All of our projects are, like, about like being different and doing what we want to do. But this one's, like, focused on one like you know, when we first came out, it was really like nobody really accepted us, like BET, because they say we, like, when we talked about this shit, mm -hmm. now we don't even give a fuck about it. The, the three live crew, yeah. you know, it's like a like the back. new two live crew. And the team is crazy too, Street is X, Two Chains, Young Dog, Bank Road, Fresh, Stooley, Cap One, like, everybody. It's gonna be crazy, you know what I'm saying? We all lifting each other up over here, also. It's a power circle. Yeah. Speaking of lifting up, what are some of the things that you guys do to keep your bond strong? You know, he want to hit the weed, he go hit the weed, man. That's how we stay tight, man. You know what I'm saying? We don't, it's not really no pressure like that over here because, like, we all got everything together. Mm -hmm. Like, everything is split in three ways, so, you know what I'm saying? I can't be mad because he got more than me and he got more than me. Like, we all equal, you know what I'm saying? Some mutual love. Okay. I mean, we brothers now. Don't get me wrong. Like, yeah, we, we definitely be fighting about now. pay <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Wait, we why know the fuck you just eat my eat my shit? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we know what's what's important. Happy Money Ross. Thank you. 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 I'm Cat One. I go um, TRU of the University. First artist signed to TRU. My big brother Two Chain, schoolie over there. We just dropped the project TRU, the Real University, which is on live mixtapes and pretty much all the um, major websites that you can go to. Um, I also have a collective series mixtape out, which is the Caviar Dreams One and Two. I had some standout records, so. We put out an EP. Um, I had a bird bath EP and the first single off that is Dallas. I mean bird bath. Produced by Chill Go Hard, who's also in-house um, street exec producer. Birds in the water. I drop them 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 birds in the water. Hit it with ice and a soda. I drop them birds in the water. Drug, drug, drug. Drug, drug, drug. Also on the Verb app EP. This is on, that's on iTunes. My brother Short Dog, he not here today. He in Houston. We are gonna jump into one of his records, and that's Natural Born Finesse. My big brother too. Yeah, this is um the stuff you hand is on on this, uh, the Real University the mixtape we put out. Um, what is it? 
a month ago maybe. Mm -hmm. Not even that long. Almost. Yeah, so it's featuring Cap and uh, Scooby. It's featuring a couple people from Atlanta. My goal with the mixtape was just to uh, give upcoming artists from Atlanta um, a platform to be heard. I know I'm, I, you know, I, I know I'm pretty much familiar with a circus. So I treated this mixtape as if it was a solo <laughs> mixtape. But, um, you know, clearly I'm not on every song. Sometimes I'm just doing the hook, sometimes I'm just doing the verse. But it was just about um, me being implemented into this formula so people could just appreciate what I feel and what I, what I feel really um, confident in and what I'm trying to bring to the world. So that's how we came up with this idea. And, um, and we, you know, we fucking up the streets right now. And um, once again, we appreciate everybody for taking the time to come here. We're gonna play a few more records um, off the mixtape. Y'all feel free to let us know what you like. If you don't like it, just don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> we sensitive about our shit. Vanessa, I'm a natural born Vanessa. I'm a natural born Vanessa. Ain't nobody fresh or leave it on the stretcher. Trying to test this nigga screaming truth. But we like masseuse applying pressure. If that's your girl, arrest the hoe. Get out of line. I correct. I'm a member of this underdog team right here. This true gang right here. Um, I started off as one half of the rich kids. Uh, uh, as in high school, um, I still am a rich kid. You know, nothing's changed, but I felt like I had to stretch out for a while. And um, right now I'm just working. You know, I, I still feel like I'm developing as an as an artist. You know, so. This is gonna be my first solo project, and you know I'm hyped about it. You know my brother's hyped about it, my other brother's hyped about it, so it makes me confident in it. Um, makes me feel like I'm doing a good job. So I feel like I'm on a good team. Um, but I got a project coming up called the Black John Gotti, and uh, we're pushing on March right now. You know, hopefully. And uh, it's just a song right here with, by me and Short Dog. You know, my other brother here in Houston right now. I'm sorry he couldn't make it. But uh, we shot a, actually shot a video to this, but uh, play that for him. Um. This is all that they teach me. I come through killing every season. Pray they don't call the police me. Please 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 don't call the police me. Call the police me. My big brother, he got his upcoming stuff coming too. So we all just work, basically. You know, it's, that's what we're doing. Like, if you're not working, you're not over here. So. That's, that's basically what we got a team full of works, you know. That's the formula. That's the formula. We're just product of, of just hard work over here, you know what I mean? We, we all believe in God. We all um, love our families very dearly. We work hard, so that's really just what, that's what we claim. And we also claim an issue, so it ain't no pressure. Pressure on no. Like school say, we the underdogs, we ain't sure. But we know we gonna win the game, so that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother. Story right there. What else you want to play, Cap? Uh, anybody have any questions? Why do you guys feel like you're the underdogs or keep referring to yourselves as the underdogs? I mean, it's pretty much obvious. Even every day you hear the the names of different crews that, that people might say have a throne right now. And like you said, we just a product of hard work and we just making the way. This, this first mixtape is an installment of the platform to show what we showcase as far as the truth movement and uh, we working. I feel like a, we say underdog only because a lot of people still sleep on the movie. Like Cap, he was he was, a, he was an artist. He was the first artist signed in Chicago. So this kind of like his second go away, uh, go around. For me, y'all know me being Titty Boy Player Circle. This was my second go around. Nobody believed this shit until I showed him. Schooly, one of the rich kids it's since it. he was fucking 14, you know what I'm saying? Now he's doing a solo thing. Nobody gonna believe this shit to be shown. Short Dog had a situation with Young Money. Now he fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? And it's about to be the same thing. So that's kind of the reason why we're going about underdogs. Because this is our second go around. Exactly. We still got the swag. We still dabbing. We still comfortable. And we confident in what we doing. And it's fun being on this side. Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> Ain't no pressure. You know what I'm saying? They think they done seen everything we had to offer. Mm -hmm. That's why they count you out. You know what I mean? So when you know how to just re really reinvent yourself, or uh, like a street nigga would say, re-rock yourself, you know what I mean? And come back a little harder. Mm -hmm. 
I ain't really ready for it or expecting it, and that's what we doing. Probably cause I got your bra in it. The way she walking got my palms in it. Money talks and mine is long winded. And T.O. you up on my chunk. Cause they got my oil limit in the car in it. Cause niggas know I'm from the age time, so I'm coming down like a party. He has an EP currently out. Okay. Well, coming out in 2015. Yeah, he has an EP currently out. I have an album coming out, but right now I'm trying to basically get them to a certain point before I go into Titty Boy mode. Titty Boy is this real selfish guy, only child. He really just be on his own shit. But so before I go into Titty Boy mode, mm. I'm doing things like this and going to Clark and shit like that. Just introducing people to my campaign. Mm. Cause they already have small movements and everything. So I'm just trying to amplify it at my little campaign. And then when I announce my album, you'll know about it and everything. And that includes other ventures, fashion, um, the fashion collaborations um, for 2015 so far um, would probably be something else with Adidas. I'm not sure. You know, I just did the PR, PS jeans last year and I did some other little fashion stuff. So we'll see about collaborating. I'm not doing my own brand, but I'll be, I'm down with the collaboration and kind of get in and get out. Really the guys, you know what I'm saying? It's yes. that you get an artist like me that even care about trying to help or pull somebody else up. And that's really... What made you do that? Stressed. Because I give a fuck and there's enough money out here for everybody. And I remember wanting to be, have some money. I remember having talent. I remember praying and being frustrated. And it can happen for everybody that I, I kind of like handpick. I feel like they can be successful and, and they can trickle down and shit. Like nothing like making your mom happy and your family. It's just a whole nother thing to this success. It's a whole nother level to success. So why not share it? And then it adds longevity to me. I can't be around here doing the same fucking shit for like six, seven, you know what I mean? I gotta get some youth around me, some more swag, you know what I mean? So we all just bold trying up and it makes everything look a little bit better, you know what I mean, as far as how we come. So that's why it's that time. I got only I only signed my deal in 2012, although I've been trying to do it for over a decade, you know what I mean? So when that happened, I was able to put out a couple albums and take care of what I need to take care of. Now it's time to kind of spread some of that love and, and that's, you know, that's how you get it back.